publishing experience হলো একটা Please be seated. So, tell us about yourself. Uh, sir, uh, my name is Shobhik, Shobhik Biswas. Okay. I hail from a small village called Nashirkuli, which is in the Ranakad subdivision. And sir, I did my graduation uh, in BA program in 2015. And after that, I started preparation for UPSC CSC as well as the WBCS uh, exam. Uh, sir, the philosophy of my life is the word that I have taken uh, from an Upanishadic sentence that is called as Shilam Param Bhushanam that is character is the best will and I, I always try to achieve for the best characters and so uh, my goal in the life is to join the civil service profession so that I can make changes for the life of the peoples so you just told that you just mentioned that you are aspiring for UPSC as well yes so from your appearance what Transpires to us is that you are a fit candidate for that. Then you will be leaving WBCS. So we will be losing one seat. So why are, should we take you in the first place? Sir, I think uh, <coughs> uh, usually the students in today's time they prepare for various other things. So, in my opinion, nobody is actually. Uh, there will be several uh, people who will be preparing simultaneously for various jobs and which is best suitable for them they will be joining them. apart from this sir i think these two services are more or less same of the nature so uh, in that sense if we can uh, if uh, the uh, the state uh, state state can recruit me uh, i'll be if i don't get selected for the upsc or maybe for the wbcs uh, i can Sir, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not even talking. Sorry. Okay, we, we take your time. Uh, try. Feel absolutely comfortable. If you have any language problem, problem, you can. No, sir, English. Okay. So, what is civil service? Uh, sir, I don't know exactly the definition, but uh, you are aspiring for civil service, and you don't know the exact definition. Why is it called civil? Civil service. Why? Sir, I, I can. What are the All India services? Sir, there are three All India services. Okay. Uh, Indian Administrative Service, Indian Police Service, and Indian Foreign Service, the uh, Forest Service. Okay. So, week recently, uh, the name of Syria. Yes. Sir. It came in the news. Yes. Sir. Why? Uh, sir, uh, recently uh, there are several reasons. One reason is that US has withdrawn from the Syria which they were fighting with uh, Kurdish fighters against the ISIS that is the reason and uh, there were ramifications in other areas okay. after the withdrawal Turkey has invaded the and to create a safe zone in the border uh, so that they can fight, fight against the fight. Kurdish militia. Fight. Fight. What are the topographical areas of West Bengal? Topographically West Bengal can be divided into how many categories? Sir, one is uh, north northern hill uh, region. Uh, one is the central plain, sir. Another is the western plateau. Uh, sir, we have coastal area that is in south uh, in the southern coastal area, and one can be of a savanna type of uh, climate. Uh, sorry, sir, that would be climate. I think this fourth division. Tell us about another state which has similar topographical categories. Is there any other state which has so much of variety? Uh, sir, one thing uh, is very unique about Indian uh, West Bengal topography is that no I just asked you about yes or no. If yes, what is the name of the state? Sir, I'm not very sure, but uh, Maharashtra can be of that state. But there could be a, a various region like West Bengal, sir. But I'm not exactly sure. Sir. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I find that uh, you have you have met the most important important topographical feature uh, of West, West Bengal, which is the most important. So the Gang central plain, Gangetic plain. Yeah, the, that alluvial plain. Ah, that, that, that is the most productive area. Sir, you, have, you have missed it, sir. Sir, I mentioned as a central plain. I'm sorry, sir. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hong Kong recently also came in news. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, there were uh, there are certain issues regarding the uh, with the Chinese um, 
because they want there is theory called two nation uh, one uh, one nation uh, two uh, two type of administration i'm exactly forgetting them so but uh, recently there is trend that they want uh, liberation exact liberation and uh, for that there is a agitation going on where the chinese is repressing them this uh, have you have you heard this uh, civil service interview before yes, sir in wbc yes so wbc is i didn't but upsc last year i appeared yes sir appeared in the interview yes sir okay but you were rejected Sir, I missed by five marks. Five so, what five. is the reason? No, what? Uh, <laughs> tell us about something, uh, some improvement that you have made over the first few months, uh, for which we uh, should believe in you that you can clear those five marks. People are fighting for just point zero five marks. Now you have to improve five marks. So there must be some personality disorders in you or personality defects, I would say. And so, hopefully have uh, repaired, repaired, repaired. Yes. Uh, hopefully. Sir, actually there was two pa paper in the base. Actually, in interview I got good marks, sir. One eighty six I got. So okay, out of three hundred, we got one eighty six. Out of two seventy five. Two seventy five. Yes. Now it's two seventy. Out of two seventy five, we got one eighty six, and then also you could not do it. Uh, that is what I was trying to say, sir. I got less marks in optional paper one. That is, I got hundred, and ethics paper is there. I got less. So these two paper actually. So are you are lacking in ethics, ethical values. Uh, sir. Uh, it is not always necessary that our knowledge transform into our exam and it is a very subjective also ethics paper so uh, in my opinion uh, there are certain mistakes certainly and i had improved upon that and this year i wrote mains examination which went well sir. an optional paper one that was also i got less last time this year i have improved a lot and i wrote well <coughs> hopefully i will get to do that upanishad is very i now i tell some slokas उपनिषद so much about upanishad this is very unfortunate the first upanishad sir samidan is upanishad is the samidan sarvan yat kinte jagat tan jagat thank you sir do you know the meaning of this slokas satyameva jayate thank you is from is taken from mundaka upanishad okay what is this sir it's a ashok chakra ashok chakra Okay. Tell us about more about this Ashok Chakra. Sir, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, <coughs> Why not exactly sure in everything? Whatever you are telling, you are just mentioning that you are not exactly sure. Uh, Why? Sir, because I ex exactly don't know what it means. Uh, I have read, but I forgot. Something. Yes, where, where is the actual uh, means uh, Ashok Chakra found? From which uh, it is replicated? Have you heard of the name of Sarnath? Sir, I think that in uh, this the Sarnath from there we took the emblem. If I'm not national wrong. emblem, national emblem, okay. not this also. And this one? I don't know. Sir. How many lions are there in? Sir, four lions. And any other animal is there in the national emblem? So, sir, I'm not going to record. You write your name and address. Sir, in Bengal. In English. In. It's my pen. I'll not give you. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't take pen. This is pathetic. Sorry. Sir. This is really pathetic that you are not bringing a pen to the interview. So, is this a joke? Do you think this is a joke? Sir, I had it in different. view regarding this so i thought that would be what was that the theme uh, sir uh, one some funny incidents are going to happen there <laughs> some jokers will be there <laughs> so you have plenty of reasons to laugh aloud and one one maybe that uh, uh, you, you have become over confident that since i have appeared for the upsc interview what is mm. this to compare to that upsc uh, no, is that uh, something in, like in one of the interview that i have given this mock test i took a pen in my pocket and mm. one of the teacher told me that uh, in front of this person like uh, of your higher category and since you don't belong to any service till now it is better that you should not 
you should not take a pen. Hmm. Pen on the. And, and do, uh, do you justify that? And uh, uh, do you uh, mean to follow that in your in the rest of your life? Do you justify that? Justify that view. He may he may have uh, told you uh, told you anything. He may be the highest authority. But he has said any. So suppose he has said anything wrong. So we will follow him blindly. You're not even. You don't have the rationale to like <coughs> use your own. Sir, thing. I thought on it, and I thought that uh, it may not be that much wise to take the pen in the pocket when you are giving an interview. It can be in the in the pen pocket. So they have, they have taken the thing. So you should have. Yeah, you should have kept it in your pen pocket, pen pocket as, as well. Sir, it was a bit uncomfortable to sit. So. Sorry, next okay. time I look into. That means that uh, they have taken the uh, taken the word <coughs> I means line. Pen is mightier than the Sudan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is like uh, if you carry a pen, it is like carrying a sword. Which carry a sword? Which can which can hurt? Okay, uh, that is uh, no issue. But I think uh, you should be uh, sufficient because in in the interview you have to write the write some things now. Like you have to fill up the forms. Yeah, then you have to beg for a pen from someone else. If you are, you are asked to sign your sign, then what will you do if you don't carry a? Thank you, sir. I'll take that. Next. Have you seen any movies in last three or four days or uh, years? Yes, sir. I watched the movie called War. War. Yes, sir. That is uh, directed by Shiddha Dhan and. Have you watched Joker? Uh, sir, I I didn't watch, but I had got a good. Usually, I do not watch much. Who is the Who is the actor protagonist? Who is the actor? Sir, I did read, but I don't remember. Sir. Do you have amnesia? What is the meaning of amnesia? Sir, I can take a guess. Things, I'm not very sure, sir. Amnesia? No. Memory loss. Memory. So you cannot recall. That's why I told you that. Do you have amnesia? What? <laughs> have you read any writings of Pibiti Bhushan Bandhavadha? He is too busy to write, read any Bengali book, is it? It's so. Uh, not like that, but sir, nowadays I'm not getting that much time. What are we doing? We have twenty-four hours, and you are not getting even five minutes to read a book. Uh, sir, I started. What was the last time? When was the last time you read a book? Apart from the studies. Uh, sir, uh, I started reading a book, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, the My Experimental Truth. You started reading? Yes, sir. Then you left it. I couldn't book. finish it because. Uh, and what what have you finished before that? And when? Uh, sir, uh, after I started my competitive exam, I did not study. Okay, before that, sir, I I was reading. Do, do, do you think that uh, you this studying outside outside the syllabus? Uh, Ampers means or disturbs you in in some way in your studies. Uh, sir, study never hampers, but uh, since the time is less and it is a competitive exam, and uh, some of the things that I do is that I I read I go through the YouTube and where several books brief information is given in fifteen twenty minutes I try to do that which is shortcut. You're following a shortcut. But that method. that may take you to the take you to the quick sand. In in the interview, if in UPSC you, they they ask some books. Yes, sir. Uh, some uh, what you have, if if you tell that I have read this, and uh, they will take you to yes the bottom of the <coughs> hobbies. And uh, anything about your hobbies? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, in terms of hobbies, sir, I'm a sports loving person. I like I very much love playing football. Uh, sir, uh, this year there was the World Cup. Is yes. women's football. Yes. So you are a football lover. You are supposed to know who was the winner of the World Cup women's football. It's the France. Sir. France even didn't qualify even in the semi-final in the women's football. You are forgetting. You are confusing with men's football. That's what our attitude towards women is. And that's what your attitude as a bureaucrat will be towards women. You are confusing. You will be confusing. You will be forgetting about your mother also. Yeah. Because they have not mentioned uh, in your back. I don't recall that he no. mentioned about his family I when he was asked to present yourself. Are you a chauvinist? Male chauvinist? Not certainly. But your answers <coughs> are giving us a view 
of you which makes us believe that you are a male chauvinist what is male chauvinism so those who believe that a male are the superior okay. than the women and what is feminism so those who believe that we are equal male and female nobody is up and down equality and equitability what is the difference sir equality means everything is equal uh, there will be no discrimination on it and when we talk about equity we focus on its background also whether uh, that <coughs> uh, uh, that is uh, one uh, very important thing and uh, that i can uh, give you an example say for example uh, if we uh, divide uh, <coughs> if we de- divide any benefit to all the people equally 10 rupees that would be equality but if someone is very poor we need to give him 15 rupees that would be equitable sharing so uh, that is it then uh, do, do you uh, support the uh, reservation in its current, current form that is going on in india reservation caste based reservation so uh, there are two types of reservation right now is going one is based on the caste another is based on economic criteria that has been brought recently uh, sir i do support this reservation system but not in its entirety Uh, because i think that uh, there is a probably and there should be a debate regarding the creamy layer uh, in the scst reservation also because if someone uh, or maybe some new type of criteria like if third generation is getting benefit uh, from the caste system then uh, next generation should not get so that the equity equity among the caste is also mentioned otherwise uh, some of the dominant caste is get, uh, accruing most of the benefits so in my opinion that should be a change and sir uh, right, recently there is a positive move to bring about economically weaker section but in there also sir i believe that 8 lakh uh, uh, ceiling is bit high in terms of economy in india if we talk about so this this is my view on this too. and uh, suppose uh, in in a state uh, not in west bengal in a state a family earns more than 8 lakh or 10 lakh or 15 lakhs maybe that family has secured some job Yes. good education uh, in your view that family should be kept out of the uh, purview of the uh, other reservation right uh, yes sir and uh, the caste based uh, outlook of the society has not changed there because they are dalits whatever physic- whatever economic position whatever state status in uh, their job they might have have uh, achieved they are the leads so yes. they should not be allowed to touch our uh, tea well they should not be allowed to take uh, water from the well uh, common well so that mindset needs to be changed i suppose certainly sir. and if that is not changed in that state can you uh, can you uh, just uh, take out the reservation in this uh, in the current form and uh, push it to the that second generation third third generation uh, criteria so that is the actually my concern is what is happening in today's uh, reservation that some of the families in some of the communities are getting benefit a- a- again and again because there is a limited resources that 8% or 15% reservation right. but sir until unless we actually pull out that community itself equitable uh, with giving equitable reservation to all that will be much more beneficial rather than getting one family or maybe some of the family getting reservation no my point was uh, a different i got your point yes, my sir. point was <coughs> there are two sets there is one reserved category that is privileged category that as i as we uh, understand and another is not privileged yes sir here privileged means privileged with the system of reservation not the uh, socially eco- economically privileged and another thing uh, uh, another section they are thinking of themselves as the deprived this deprived what uh, the deprived class that means they are not under the purview of reservation their mindset has not changed yes sir they may be poor but they are brahmins yes they are calling those uh, highly educated highly uh, economically balanced economically st- uh, means uh, uh, e- economically stable person as the leads and they are means uh, causing atrocities to them yes. mental atrocities don't you think that first the mindset has to be changed the un- uh, unreserved classes and what is your suggestion uh, in that Uh, certainly sir as you have said that it is a, actually mindset is a social we need a social change and it makes it takes time sir it is not an easy process because it's a very age long process so we need to evolve over a period of time and that is what the reason that we have taken two prong uh, uh, two prong step 
where we are giving reservation so that the upliftment took place. At the same time, there are several laws also, sir, uh, SCST Atrocities Act, and there are several government schemes also, and promotion promotion by the government to change the mindset through the education or uh, through the campaigning. So all the approach we needed because it's a big change, sir, and it needs it takes very long time. So a uh, lot of changes has actually taken place. We have a. Yes, sir, do, you, do you think that the present midterm system? Yes, sir. Is uh, catering catering uh, uh, to implement what you are saying? That is the the exactly uh, you are the right right the code uh, the um, uh, caste caste based system that is uh, that should be er eradicated. Do you think that this in a village of UP in a village of UP there was the school yes. where the students refused to take food. They dropped out just because the meal is being cooked by someone who hails from this Dalit community. So you are talking about financial, economic reservations and all, but this mindset it has spoiled the basic, the soul of this philosophy of reservation. Don't you think? Uh, so certainly, but uh, I think that is not all. All the cases. These are certain incidents are coming, especially the northern belt of India, which is highly prone to this caste-based discrimination. We, it needs time. It needs political will as well as bureaucratic will. Uh, over a period of time, the things may get changed. And another thing I want to share is that economically weaker section that has come. That will also contribute to reduce that stigma, which is related to the reservation also. Because earlier there was reserve stigma in the school colleges. Uh, in the in the higher position authority that you are coming from the reservation so it to some extent can dilute and so certainly mid term meal scheme uh, as you have rightly said that is a step forward and the issues will come obviously sir this kind of issues and if we can have a political backing and there was a media support in that also along with the social media we can try to change the mindset and certainly we will uh, we'll have you watched my article 15 this movie yes sir i did watch so what was the lesson from that movie what is Article 15? Constitutionally, what is Article 15? Uh, sir, it talks about that there should not be any discrimination on the basis of race, caste, religion, sex, and place of birth okay. on any citizen. Who is the director of the movie? Sir, I I'm sorry. So you are so much in love with football. Yes, sir. Absolutely. I you watch also BS. Huh? And I think you had broken your left hand while playing football also, or something like that. Have you, have you, do you have any problem with your left hand? No, sir, I do not. Okay. And which position did you love to play in football? Uh, sir, uh, I play attacking football. Attacking football uh, is uh, the sorry, striker. Uh, attacking, attacking midfielders. Attacking midfielder. Name one attacking midfielder of uh, recent days. One attacking midfielder. Uh, sir, I'm, uh, I'm naming my favorite, uh, that is Andres Iniesta, sir. Iniesta. Iniesta, okay. Uh, what is this position, uh, Libero? What is Libero in football? Sorry, sir. What is Catanachian difference? Sorry, sir. You are a football. Actually, uh, you are wearing this football. Yes, yeah, so should, should, uh, you should. You should. You should have known this because uh, attacking football and. Uh, means attacking midfielder these are things that libero position is very pertinent to that and uh, that is i don't think playing football is a hobby i don't think playing football is a hobby hobby is uh, how do you how, how do you spend your leisure time every day almost every day, almost every day, almost every day, day. Yes. Yes. playing is not a hobby I, I i think so something that you did even yesterday uh, sir i do play whatever football, uh, okay. almost on a daily basis yesterday you played uh, sir, uh, right now I came from Delhi. Okay, so okay. 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 I don't think uh, uh, hobby means your uh, lizard time, you pass your lizard time for developing yourself, your mental being uh, is closely associated. And if you play football for your mental upbringing, that is no yes, issue. Because Devananda also told that, yeah, absolutely. that uh, playing football is better than reading guitar. Sir, another thing I do almost on a regular That is what I am time. Uh, that is, uh, I love motivating others, sir. Those who are. That is so I'm depressed. You have two minutes time in your hand. We all are very depressed, depressed, very depressed. We have been in the government service for quite, long, time. Time. quite long, more than 10 years. He is even more and now motivate us in two minutes. Do not say a single word. Your time starts now. now. Sir, uh, what you are servicing? The first thing is that I am asking you. Government, mm -hmm. but it is not the government, sir. It is the public. It is the 1.2 billion people that we are serving, and your one decision will 
make the change of the life of thousands of people sir think about them if you do if you are depressed if you are not able to do that you leave it sir why you are bothering because here it is very important to feel to to make a back in place so that other person so those who are much more motivated those who want to serve the society they should come forward sir and if you are not capable uh, capable of doing that if you are getting depressed you take a break if you are not able to do that you leave the job sir because it is a job not for your own benefit it is a job for the thousands of the people that and in india we know that 29% are poor people and they are completely looking for you you so you have to be 100% motivated 24 into sir 24 into 7 that you have to work for them so this is what my but uh, we got more depressed <laughs> This two minutes made us more and more depressed. We look forward to you for some words that can make us motivated in us in our current position. We are giving you a one more yes. chance. One more chance you are getting to motivate us. Sir, first, uh, what I think is that. Uh, So that uh, I would say this line that if you are a government service, if you are any human being, even if you are depressed, even if you are so distressed, you should think talisman, talisman of Gandhi ji that what he has said that the last and the poorest of poor person should be served and should be served so that he can develop and he can fulfill his potential. So I I have this much to say uh, to you people. Okay. Okay. Have you any inclination towards Indian classical music? Uh, sir. I do listen, but not all frequently, sir. I he has watched recently the last movie. It was war. How can you expect him to <laughs> in the Bollywood music? Uh, sir, I watch recent recent songs like the uh, Shreya Ghoshal song, sir, uh, Arijit Singh. Recent. Song. I think uh, in your introduction you have not uh, you have mentioned that Rana Ghat is your subdivision, yes, but you have not mentioned your district. Some person has become viral uh, from uh, viral from your viral in social media in yeah. social media and she is doing very. Uh, uh, she is twice she became viral. She was viral first for all good reasons, second for all wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that person? Who is that person? Uh, sir Ramu Mandal. Ramu. She is from Rana. Is the MP of Rana Ghat? Sir Rana Ghat Lok Sabha MP is uh, Mr. Jagannath Sharka from Bharatiya Janata Janata Party, sir. How many districts are there in West Bengal? Sir, so 23. How many districts are in India? I'm sorry, sir, I don't. How many villages are there in India? Approx. I'm just. I, I, I'm sorry, sir. Say it may be uh, <coughs> six thousand. It may be sixty thousand. It may be six lakhs. Three options are there. Sir, it is six lakh. Around six lakh, as far as I read, sir. But exact figure I don't know. Sir. Is still some lucrative schemes of government of West Bengal? Uh, sir, one of the schemes that I like is Anand Dhara scheme. Uh, apart from this, we have Kishak Bandhu, we have Shastra Shati, sir. Uh, we have uh, Kanyasri. This will be okay. Uh, okay. Uh, on, on the Anand Dhara. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, means, uh, you must have gone through a scheme. What, what it does, Anand Dhara? Uh, sir, uh, it is a scheme which is mostly focusing on the capability approach, <coughs> rather, which gives a training uh, to the youth. It gives finances also, so in that way it provides the capability, uh, the skills, um, so that they can get. What that. is the basic unit of Anandhara to whom uh, to whom the government is focusing? What is the basic unit called? So, it's like, have you heard of self help groups? Yes, sir. Yes, it. That means uh, someone comes and uh, asks Anandhara official to teach me to can, uh, means, uh, instill some capability. In you. That cannot be done. Yes, sir. That it's is the S H G. And what that S H G be? What is that S H G? Do you know, sir? Uh, like, as a, what? What are the S H G? What is uh, what is the basic uh, principle of S H G? Or what is an S H G? Uh, sir, a self help group, which is a community uh, where uh, the women, especially the women, are participating, and okay. it acts as a mediator. From there, they can get the finance from the bank as well as the skill, and they also provide uh, some of the like uh, marketing facilities or some. Okay. The and wh why? What difference can it make? Uh, make see someone is an S H G member and someone is an individual. Yes. Sir. What is the difference that this Anandathara can make in the life of the individual in the group and uh, compared to a uh, means uh, standalone woman? Yes, sir. I couldn't get you get that out of course. Oh yes. 
Okay. Thanks.